music, but you tear me to pieces. So where does it come from? A scene that keeps playing on repeat ignores the rule of thumb. Oh, where does it come from? Oh, where does it come from? All your emotions with your heart yeah, on your sleeve. Um, what a day. There has been very few races in my somewhat long professional career where I have wanted to pull out of the swim, but today was one of them. Um, nothing, nothing was feeling right. Uh, didn't feel like myself. Big travel, maybe not enough time here, but um, yeah, maybe picked up a little something um, from Izzy and Rennie when they got back, they got a little sick. So uh, the, um, the deck was stacked against me today, but you know, that's what racing is, right? You got to put out what you have on the day and, and I'm happy to say I was able to do that uh, somewhat successfully today with the second place finish. Yeah, some days you can just tell when you're not <laughs> as sharp as you normally are on race day and um, kind of right away in the warm up I could feel I was just um, kind of lacking a little pop, just really sluggish and um, just tired and yeah, just felt really tired. So um, it wasn't surprising when the gun went off, uh, I lost probably 50 meters to the guys pretty quickly. <laughs> Hopefully we have some video to show you. but. I think I took about three steps into the uh, run-in and uh, hit, a, hit a little divot in, in the sand and just took a face plant. So <laughs> I knew from about three steps into that swim that it was gonna be a hard day. But um, you know, luckily I've, I've got some great swim fitness from uh, my training in Australia this summer. So um, I was able to kind of crawl back up to the front of the race and came out of the water with Igor and um, one of the young Brazilian ITU guys who you could tell um, kind of running out of the water, he had that uh, ITU speed in him. So a little caveat to talking about not feeling good. Um, there aren't excuses in racing. Um, you know, there are facts. Um, when you race, you race what you have on the day. And uh, Igor um, bested me very, very handily today. So uh, definitely no excuses for not winning. But um, yeah, when talking about those couple days leading into the race, um, I knew on Tuesday swim, um, I felt awesome. I had this just really good swim. I was just swimming faster than I normally swim without any effort and then got on the bike um, on the trainer right away and had some great power. But sometimes that's kind of like uh, the nail in the coffin when, uh, when you get really uh, run down and the cortisol starts pumping to keep you going. Um, sometimes that last really good session is just the cortisol um, trying to keep you, keep you afloat and then you just crash when you take that easy day. So I definitely crashed on Wednesday. I cut all my workouts out, finished packing, took a nap and then went to the airport. So um, yeah, I knew kind of coming here that it was going to be, a, every race is a challenge, but it's going to be a little bit of a different challenge. I love coming to Brazil. This is the fifth Ironman event that I've done out here, branded event. And uh, I've done, I did an ITU race way back in the day here, but um, it's such a great community, great people. And uh, I got to really experience all the love and, and the positive energy pre-race here in Floripa. Uh, started off with a really fun autograph signing with Hoka Brazil and they've been launched down here for about a year and they're absolutely exploding everybody's loving what they're doing especially the new product so um, yeah just a lot of good vibes uh, with the Hoka crew and then um, had a really fun Q&A with Trek Brazil and they had one of their uh, actually a couple of their club teams come out and um, have a little kind of a private little Q&A and got to know myself and Lauren Goss and a couple of their Brazilian athletes so um, it's, yeah, I, I mean, I won Ironman Brazil five years ago, so, you know, that's, that, that's a few years back, but, you know, I, I, I come, come here, you know, every time, and, and there's still a lot of love and, and uh, a lot of gratitude for me coming out here, and part of the reason is because of all the Brazilian triathletes, you know, I, I love getting to interact with everybody. So today was my longest run since probably mid-January before I broke my foot, so, um, in some ways it's a small victory just to get out there and do 21k on the road. I've had some decent runs the last couple of weeks, uh, but I've been doing them on the Alter G, which is that zero gravity treadmill. So I've been able to get some speed work in, but um, I don't really have that durability in my legs yet, which is okay. I mean, Kona's a long way away. It's, uh, it's only April and we have till October. So I was, I was really happy actually with the way I felt. Um, I had a strategy in the run. You know, there were several guys around me and I really just tried to, um, you know, to break the chain on that second lap. Uh, it's a three lap course. So the first lap I had, um, you know, I got a, maybe 20 seconds on some of those other guys that was in second place, but 
I, I wasn't sure how my fitness would be on that third lap, so I just wanted to try to let them think they were out of the race on that second lap. So I ran really well that second lap and then was able to hold it together on the third. Really the worst thing to come out of this weekend is not winning my cooking bet with Rennie. <laughs> I hate to cook. So uh, we both got second place, so it's a draw. Uh, we'll have to go double or nothing in Monterey or Chattanooga. Being in a foreign country, I'm dependent on Wi-Fi, so I had to get back to the room before I talked to Rennie and Izzy. But um, yeah, I got back here fairly you know, quickly after the race. Um, and I uh, got a uh, FaceTime with them, which is fun. Uh, of course, Izzy doesn't know what's going on, but she was happy to see Dad uh, win or lose. So, you know, that was kind of cool. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, Rennie and I, it's, you know, we have our relationship side and then our, you know, athlete side. So, um, you know, right away, it's almost the two athletes just, you know, dissecting the race and, you know. Uh, not, not good. Oh, I felt so bad. I was yeah, actually, I actually wasn't gonna start this morning. Really? Yeah, I, I had, I had, I was like, mm, maybe this is not a good idea. One of the coolest things from this weekend, this little gem, <laughs> this little Stein. This is the first Stein I've won in a race. Yeah, I'm liking it. I mean, it's not as big as um, Rennie's one from Austria or Roth, but I know. It's, it's hard to compare to Rennie, right? <laughs>